What's going on YouTube fam? Mikey here shooting another high adventure video. Guys, beautiful fall day. We are out here on the river again chasing big old brownies. I am in a little warm weather pocket right now before it's supposed to get really rainy and cold. So we're at the river. We're gonna see if these brown trout are still in spawning mode, still super aggressive. Let's just get fishing. Oh, there's one. Oh, it just came right up. Oh, there was a little, I don't know what that was, but it came right up and nailed it. Second cast of the day. Guys, this is what I am using as bait to start the day off with. Check it out. Nice little jerk bait, golden color. I like those colors that mimic um, what a brown trout looks like. For whatever reason, it seems like they really key in on those colors, or at least I've had really good success with those. So little jerk bait, helpful tip. Go buy these at Walmart. Don't buy them at Cabela's or Sportsman's. I'm sorry, Cabela's and Sportsman's, but they're just too expensive. You can get the same exact thing, this bad boy right here, for literally $1.50 to do $2 cheaper at Walmart. So there's your little helpful tip of the day. This is such a tiny area, but what this jerk bait's able to do, unlike the flies, is it actually gets down in that water like that. <laughs> and I think it's able to get down close to those fish. This is a brownie to start the day. Guys, literally third cast of the day. And it gets down close to those fish and I think it just it just is able to go right by them. Look at that, look at that. It just swims right by them and uh, you're able to nail them. Look at that guys, still plenty aggressive it looks like. That's probably about 10 or 11 inches. Pretty fish, we'll get her back in the water. Literally guys, like my third cast of the day. Woo, perfect. This is looking like it might be a really good day. Literally just the first spot I pulled up on. It's nice and deep on the other side. That jerk bait gets right down to their level. I just, I love it. I think I just saw another one, no kidding. I think I just saw one following it up. Jeez Louise. Oh, there's one. Oh, this is a nice one. This is a good brownie, guys. Oh, it just came up and nailed it. Just came up and nailed it, I saw it. Oh, hoo, hoo. Oh, she's running all over the place. Look at this. Oh, this is exactly what we're after, guys. Look at this fish. You guys are gonna love this. You're gonna love this. Look at this beautiful trout right here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. looks like someone is still fairly aggressive. Oh, look, it foul hooked it. Oh, oh, oh. look at that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. Guys, she swung at it and it hooked her in the stomach. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that fish though. Oh my word. Ooh, guys, it looks like they are as aggressive as ever. Let's keep fishing, man. I'm, I'm in the same spot. I've literally taken like six casts. I've been here for five minutes. Two beautiful brown trout already. Let's keep fishing. Big concrete slabs hanging out down there. Anything. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a rainbow. Look at this. Look at this. Ooh, just nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. All right. Look at this. Woo. Look at that. Pretty fish. First bow of the day on that gold color. We're gonna keep this one today because I want to throw down a little catch and cook later today. So this is about a 13 inch bow and I'd rather keep a rainbow than those beautiful brown trout. The brown trout are a little bit more rare so I'd like to leave those in the river if I can. There are a lot, like a ton of rainbow trout in this river. So we're gonna keep this guy so we can eat a little something later. I'll show you guys that recipe. But for now, let's keep fishing. So I couldn't conjure anything else up except for that nice bow. So let's keep moving. Okay, any chance there's a little something something hanging out right down here? Nice little deep pocket, I don't know. Man, it looks pretty good, but looks can be deceiving. Let's move on. Whoa, look at this, guys. So it just came from up there. Let me set my stuff down here. Got a pitch in here. This looks kind of good. Oh, 
Oh, there's one. <laughs> First cast. I can't tell what it is. It is a little rainbow. Check it out. Look at that, guys. Ooh, pretty rainbow trout. There you go. Oh, oh there he goes. Nice. Ooh. Fun little rainbow, about 10 inches. Nothing else so far right in here except the one little rainbow. All that looks good though, so let's move down and give that a try. Start fishing that side. Guys, check it out. There's some deer right here. A little fawn, two does. That's pretty cool. Got it. Yes. I was about due for one, I figured. I think this is a rainbow. Look at that. Woohoo. But I can't tell yet. Smoked it. Yep. Nice rainbow. Look at that. Ah, <laughs> pretty fish. Pretty fish. Look at that. Yeah. Woo. I figured I was about due for one. Gosh, guys, that's three bows now. Three bows on the day. Uh, to two brown trout. Another pretty fish, guys. This would be a keeper, but I've already kept one. Look at that. Look at that. Get her back in the water. There we go. Good fight. Boom. That's five fish on the day. Rainbows now officially are outpacing the brown trout that I've caught today. All right, guys. So I've tied on a different lure now. I'm getting ready to fish some pretty wide stretches of river. The sun is out in full force, so I'm hoping those rays are going to catch the glint off that blade. And we're just going to roll this right along the surface, see if we can't get those brown trout to come up and smack it. And of course, I've got that brown trout color still going on, so let's give this a try. Got him right there. Nice. Whoa. There we go. And it is, I think, a bow. Yeah, a little rainbow. Boom. That is four brain rainbows now. There you guys go. Pretty trout. Probably about 10, 11 inches. Drop them back in. There's one. Yeah, there's one down there. There's one down there. Might be a brownie. I just saw him come up and swoop it. There's one hanging out down there. Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it. He might have tasted the hooks, I don't know. That is so crazy, because it's just, just uh, it looked like a little pocket. I was like, that looks interesting. Got him, got him, yes, yes. Look at this, no, this is a big old rainbow. It's a big old rainbow, look at this. Just right down in there. Ooh, look how pretty this fish is. Oh, all right. Look at that. Oh my word. That is a beautiful fish. Oh, that's the biggest one of the day easily. Whoa. <laughs> I just pitched it right in there. Guys, it's just, just a little, little shady and I thought that looks interesting. I just gotta pitch that in there. Look at that. Look at that. That's probably a 16, 17 inch rainbow trout. That is a beautiful, beautiful fish. Wow. Beautiful fish. Kind of shallow through here, but you never know. Oh, there's one. Oh, there he is. Got him. <laughs> I saw him following it up and I was like, come on, get it. So I let it down there for just a second and she came up and got it. Boom, smoked it. Another rain, well, if I can net him, rainbow. Woo, that was fun. <laughs> that was awesome. Followed it right up in the rapids, man. Smoked it. There we go. You gonna swim free there? There we go. Cool. So guys, as I'm walking around, I'm actually seeing a few crawdads scattered out and about. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pluck a few out of this river. We'll cook them up with that trout that we caught.
All right, gang, I am up to six rainbow trout, three brown trout. I was kind of hoping for more brown trout, but hey, you know what? They're hitting. I'll take what I can get today. I'm hungry though. It is well past lunchtime. All I've had is breakfast. So I have that one trout and like four crawdads that I plucked out of the river. Kind of crazy they're out this late, but I'm really excited to show you guys how I'm going to be cooking them today because I got a new little cooking device and I'm excited to show you. So let's get started. All right, guys, check out what I'm using today for cooking. Look how small this thing is. It fits easily in a backpack and it may, allows me to actually make a fire down here on the river. It is a mini grill. This is so cool. I found it online, on Amazon actually. And like I said, it fits right in my backpack. Look at that. Boom. Look how small that is. That is super, compared to my hand. Look at that. Oh, but it's gonna allow me to make a fire right here. And we're gonna be able to grill up those crawdads and that trout. Let me show you how this thing gets set up. This is pretty sweet. All right, so set this off to the side. This is super cool. Watch this. It just folds out. A little cage drops in the bottom right there to keep it all steady. This can actually go get put back up if I want to close it. So then it's all enclosed, but this is where I feed the wood in. So I set that right there. Check it out. There's plenty of ventilation in the bottom because they've got the holes on the sides. You can see me there. Oh, hello. You sexy stud. Anywho. And then it sits just like that. And then check this out. The little grill top, bam, just fits right on top for instant grilling. <laughs> Look at that. This is the first time I'm using it, actually. I found it online. And that way, it allows me to cook these fish up over an open flame, which is sometimes way more delicious, or if that's a word. And I'm excited. I, I'm really excited. So let's go get some wood and let's get a little fire going. All right. Now we just start feeding bits of wood in like this. Do, do, do. This is exciting. Look at that, guys. So all I need to do is make sure to keep feeding wood into this side. We've got a nice little berm of coals built up. We're gonna let that fire die down a little bit, then we will start grilling. All right, look at that. That is looking about perfect, right where we want it. Now, guys, today's recipe is pretty simple. I have put a mixture of olive oil and a Caribbean jerk marinade uh, in this little, actually, it's a little wine bottle, but I just tossed the wine out and put this in because it's easier to carry around this way instead of a big thing of a barbecue. So we have a Caribbean jerk marinade and a little bit of olive oil, and that's just going to go right over our trout along with some salt and pepper. There's our piece of trout right there. Nice pink looking meat on the inside. We're just gonna go ahead, set it right there. Go ahead and pour a little of this marinade over the top and on it. What I'll do now is I'll flip it. We'll barbecue in here and over the top. There we go. All right guys, and I also have the four tails from the crawdad that I'm gonna just toss on there like so. We'll drizzle a little marinade over those as well. Got everything barbecuing up, marinating up just nicely. Fire's going good. This is living. <laughs> All right, we're flipping our fish here. Ooh, got a little crispy on that side, but that's kind of how barbecuing goes sometimes. Go ahead and drizzle some more marinade on this side as well. One more time. Let me get into that fish. Perfect. Guys, I'm really excited to give this recipe a try. I've never had trout in a Caribbean marinade, so looks like it's almost done. We're gonna let this fire die down, and uh, I'm excited to give this try, along with some bonus crawdads. It doesn't get much better than this. We're out here on a beautiful fall afternoon, cooking up your own fresh trout with a few, few crawdads. This is living. This is definitely living. All right, that trout definitely got nice and crispy on that grill, but peel that skin back a little, little bit. Look at that. That's that meat we're after right there. I was able to get some marinade in the body cavity, so I know there's sauce all over that. All right, guys, there we go. Smells good. Cooked. That's good.
That is actually really good. That Jamaican marinade has a sweeter flavor to it. So that goes really well with the trout. You guys definitely need to give this a try. All right, guys. It's part of that crawdad tail. It's It got really charred, so look, see how that's just crumbling apart? I wasn't able to control the heat very well. And the fish didn't really suffer, but it looks like the crawdad did. All right. There's our little piece of meat. Definitely cooked through. <laughs> the crawdad was so cooked it almost had the consistency of jerky. But it tastes like blackened crawdad. Couldn't really get any of the marinade. I think that all cooked off. Wasn't the best. You guys know I'm 100% with you guys. That wasn't great. But if I were starving, I would eat blackened crawdad again. It wasn't terrible. But there are better ways to cook it. Definitely had better. What I am digging, minus the crawdads, is this fish, though, guys. I'm almost halfway through, and this is quite delicious. I should be able to just grab this. Look at that. Peel that whole skeleton right out. Now all I'm left with is that big piece of meat. I'm going to put a little salt on this because I put salt and pepper on the skin, but I'm not eating the skin currently because it's charred, fresh, flaky comes right off the skin. Bon Appetit, guys. That's delicious. That really is really good. Move to another stretch of river here. So many, so much of this. And it's a lot of uncharted territory for me still. But those look so good. It's just like, man, this looks like there should be some fish holding up in here. Got him. Oh, I felt him load on. I felt him load on. Don't know what it is, but it's way down there. Ooh, ooh, guys, on that spinner. On that spinner. Between these two fallen trees here, I felt him just thump. Thump. I think this is a bow. Nice. Woohoo. Oh, another pretty bow. Pretty rainbow trout. Look at that. Look at that. No, oh, oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah, nice. Look at that. Pretty, pretty fish. Sweet. Ooh, this is a little sketchy, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, okay. Nice and easy. Oh my gosh, there's a little trout just totally hit the surface right over there. Come on. Come get yourself some spoon. There he is. <laughs> he did. He did. He said, I want some spoon. Uh, is this a brownie? <gasps> yeah, I think it's a little brownie. Yay! Brownie number four! Yes! Woohoo! Yeah! There we go! Check it, guys! Look at that! Beautiful little fish! Boom ba doom! Just gobbled it right up! I saw something jump right under that tree over there! I'll bet you that was him! We'll just pop that out! Drop him back in! There you go! You're free to go! <laughs> Brownie number four. Right under those trees. Got him. Whoa, that was immediate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. What do we have here? Is this another rainbow? No, there's a brownie. That's what we're after. Brownie number five. Sweet. Check that out, guys. Not very big, but a brownie nonetheless. YouTube fam, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed making it. So much more to come. Fall is still here, so I'm gonna be out here as long as these fish will have me and as long as they'll keep biting. Hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. I will see you in the next one.